Unfunny uh, cartoons from the golden age of Saturday mornings, and I am Joe. Uh, over there is George. We got Caitlin, and we got a very special guest here. You know her as Lenora, the spooky host of Midnight Rental, the spookiest show on the Found Footage Network. <laughs> Laura, yes. welcome to Saturday. Thank you for having me back. Good to have you back. Yeah, are you familiar with uh, Sky Dancers? We're going to be watching Sky Dancers. Have you heard of the Sky Dancers before? I recall the toy line. I, I don't know if I ever saw the cartoon. It did not. Uh, it did not peak off any. Didn't set off any feelers when it I wasn't on your radar. Cartoon. This is not a cartoon you would have watched. I, I think I it might have. I might have just been in the cusp of being a, a touch too old. But I, I definitely remember the commercial for the action figures. Oh, we'll be watching that for sure. Uh, I mean, George I still Taylor. collect action figures, so I'm yeah. old now. <laughs> what if you, if you, well, you might not stumble across Sky Dancers because a lot of them got recalled, and I'll tell you all about it later. <laughs> <laughs> George, Kaylin, are you guys familiar with Sky Dancers? Oh, I am extremely familiar. I've never seen the cartoon, but I had at least two Sky Dancer toys. So I was a huge fan of, of the toy itself. To tell? I don't recall. I really don't recall the animation. So I think I, I mean, yeah, I just saw the toys, was obsessed with them. I had like the, um, the ocean one. There's like an ocean themed one and the flower one. And okay. uh, yeah, as, as you've alluded, they uh, were recalled for like being extremely dangerous. And it's, it's it's not inaccurate. They really were. So. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so happy that you're here to 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 tell the tale, like that you Thank survived you. Sky Thank Dancers. You. Thank any you. Any scars yeah. or anything? Any so uh, brave? No, or, possible no? like permanent brain damage or something from getting hit in the face, hit hit in the head with them multiple times. But yeah, yeah. Exactly. all your fingers oh. are attached. So, right. Yeah. A <laughs> lot of kids. A lot of kids had that. Um, yeah. All right. So yes, today we're watching. By the way, I gotta say, isn't it kind of nice not to have Nick here? Nick couldn't make it. Oh, he's, you uh, stop that. Point. I gotta say, it's just kind of like nice to have just like the dead weight just kind of gone. <laughs> don't you guys like kind of feel like we feel more free or something? I don't know. Wow. George, I just, anything? I feel like the onion ring at the bottom of the bag and the Burger King bag that sneaks its way in. So I, I don't know what it's normally like when he's here, but I'm it's happy, way worse. Happy it's to be an accessory. <laughs> Uh, Great shirt, by the way. Uh, Sex Cauldron. I thought they shut that place down. I thought they closed that place down, but it, it's back. <laughs> it's nice. Now you know. Um, all right. We're going to get into Sky Dancer soon, but let's talk about mugs. I'm going to show my mug off. George, can you uh, do some directing here? I'm I got uh, from uh, Erica and uh, Michael. They went to Holland and they brought back this series of like animals wearing hats. And like, look at this. This is like a nice one. They got, they got brought me a cat one too. And uh, this is like a, this is actually like a nice. This is probably like this is like a thirty dollar mug. I bet it's a beautiful mug. I don't know how I feel about promoting dog smoking, but you know that's fine. Or dog <laughs> ties. I don't know. I don't think he's inhaling. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. What do you guys got? Um, this late in the season, I like I usually try to have a mug that is some way related to what we're watching, even if it's a walk. But at this point, I'm leaning in completely to my partner's uh, mugs of um, movie promotional items. So this is one for Clint Eastwood's uh, VHS, the VHS release of Clint Eastwood's 1993 film In the Line of Fire. <laughs> So, John yes. so I was thinking, like, maybe there's something related here in the line of fire, and you kind of shoot the sky dancers out, yeah. and they hit people in the face, and they yeah. do You were in the damage. line of fire when you owned right. one. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. There is a tie-in. Yeah. Wow, that's a, that's awesome. So does he collect those mugs? Like, yes. uh, like, mugs, <laughs> like movie promotions? Yeah, okay. Yes. Anything that's related to, like, a, a video store promotion is... Uh, 
his yeah what he calls. Oh, okay <laughs> have you guys visited the office here i mean we that's like 90 percent of this right office. yeah it's like yeah, there's a lot of stuff here <laughs> um uh laura what do you got um i i have another uh it's a reiteration <laughs> of the butt mug i had last time but this is the caucasian version the one nice. i shared last time was my hispanic skin tone but this is the white <laughs> version so we represent and i i have african-american ones downstairs as well so really where, where did where do you get these like these pornographic I, mugs i got them at urban outfitters years ago <laughs> i think oh. there's i think they still sell them so if you two need a ass mug i think i do yeah they're, I need they're an so ass much mug fun sure. i love them I love oh them. yeah oh man and they keep i the, also the have a love handle like that oh, <laughs> <does> it... <laughs> <laughs> uh george what about you what do you uh oh you well I know Nick's not here, but he's here in spirit insofar as if I can get myself oh, to be. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I guess you can't spotlight yourself. Uh, he he gave me this yesterday to bring on here. It's a double pack of icy cereal. Oh, oh wow. And he described it as being incredibly disgusting. And I, you know, I'm not feeling great right now and i haven't had them yet but let's see what happens maybe can't we can make some shatter day history wait so it's just enormous. is it one bag or is it two bags it's in two, there it's oh. two bags oh, okay. it's, it's a two bagger <laughs> and, <laughs> just and, i need to know all the details i was thinking maybe there would be separate colors in each bag yeah like a side up. by side like mario right. brothers right yeah so it smells horrible is it new or is it old cereal it's new. It's new. Okay. And I, you know, in case I keel over, I've got my plastic bachelor spoon, um, so that you know. All right. Okay. Goodbye yeah, to me. So it's in. Yeah. Well, that's good crunch. I can hear the right. crunch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Decent crunch. Oh, he's going back for more. Oh, Describe oh, yeah. the nope. texture. Oh yeah. Walk us through it, George. Talk to us. Right. It's kid tested, Satan approved. <laughs> it's horrible. It's like. <laughs> I mean, it's a regular crunchy spherical cereal, but the aftertaste is like, um, um, oh man, menthol. That's what Nick said. That's menthol? right. Yeah. It, 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 Wait, menthol cigarettes? Finally. Like, uh, but, oh. I don't, I don't know. It has a bit of, um, uh, cough drop to it. Not a good cough You seem drop. like you're, you're wincing right now. You seem like you're in pain. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm, it's going to be. Okay. But I worry when okay. something goes in with that flavor, how it's going to be if, in case I can't. It's and I think a dry, a dry bite is rough on the palate, too. So yeah. you're not doing yourself any favors there. The roof of your this mouth with milk bleeding. sounds like a crime. <laughs> your voice sounds different. It almost sounds like, like you inhaled helium or something. Like you like uh, ate this and the, now you have like a weird voice. Okay. Really, no problem at all. <laughs> this is what Welker does. He's just he's a big box of it. What if helium was Welker's secret weapon? Like this whole time he was just using helium i'd be so disappointed i would too right? yeah that's, that's like steroids that's like steroids for like voiceover isn't <laughs> totally it totally like... is yeah <laughs> let me see if i can get a glimmer going hold on <laughs> um are and, we, you guys and, and, ready? And, yeah. <laughs> are we showing off cereals because i did i did bring one that i wanted to yeah, yeah. highly recommend it'll it'll be quick but if no one has tried the chocolate lucky charms George, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry. I'm distracted by I, George's expressions. Yeah. I got spotlighted accidentally. <laughs> let, let I'm me concerned. See. Hold it up. Hold, uh, yeah, I'm worried about George, too. Oh, wow, <laughs> chocolate lucky charms? Seems oh, like it the future has arrived. It seems like it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but, okay, if you are an original, if you're a fan of the original Count Chocula and have been disappointed for the last, like, 10 years on how they've changed the taste. It's very bland and cardboard now. This tastes like the original, the closest to the original Count Chocula. Highly oh, recommend it. if you're oh. if you're a fan. Yeah. It's like okay. a no. wait now, are you an actual connoisseur? Did you actually buy that to like actually eat that in the mornings? Or did you buy it just for the show? I eat it all day, baby. Like this is a <laughs> this is a 24-7 flavor town. I uh and this you're is my best. I, it was on clearance, so I bought thir uh, three boxes and the one downstairs. <laughs> I've made my way through, and this one is yet to be opened. But I'm, you're a I'm bargain shopper too. Yeah, at Target, <laughs> they, they were they were closing it out. That's a spinoff show, shopping with Lenora. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, let's get into a commercial for Sky Dancers. If you don't know what Sky Dancers are, they're these toys. Basically, they're the uh, the toys that I don't know. Sometimes you see them at like souvenir shops. 
and you it's like a t-shaped thing and then you go whoop you know like you do that you know what i'm talking about you go whoop and then it like flies up am i getting this right caitlin you had them not quite i think this one i think this had like a string that you pulled from what i recall <laughs> there's did. some sort of more yeah there's a little bit more advanced than that but, but it yeah. was using the same technology right as the sure yeah it's the same general thing. principle but yeah. like they were based on the commercials clearly supposed to just like they make it look like it's just going to go up and up yeah. and it's beautiful and spinning around instead they just go directly at people and then you know it's, it's right yeah. into people's eyes right uh, yeah. all right let's let's watch the commercial here for uh sky dancers sky dancers they're flying fly for me just for me sky dancers dance for me Beautiful. Sky dancers, real flying dancers with magical wings and pretty dresses. Pull their magic star and they twirl and fly. Sky dancers fly just for me. Flying sky dancers, doll and doll with launcher sets, each sold separately. I mean, those little girls should be wearing safety goggles. <laughs> Well, yeah, what, the what could go right? wrong? This is like when TGI Friday started. Didn't they start uh, doing appetizer delivery service with drones? Like they. Could do that yeah. Stuff. Right. Yes. It's, it's, it's exactly. Someone got it's cut. Like, yeah. No. I I, I love uh, recalled toys because like <laughs> when you see them now, they're just like it's so obvious. Like right. of course and that's gonna that should be recalled. I My feel first like I every recalled toy and when and they never my parents never took them away after it was recalled either <laughs> like we still had them but it was like the wings are hard plastic and it's like so it's like a really fast moving propeller and your you know your hair gets st stuck in it that hits you in the sure. face it's really a yeah it's kind of a weapon so wow pretty, pretty weapon oh. yeah. but you kept buying them and you're like i'll keep buying them that's like i'll i'll put up with the pain Right. I think I got two okay. for like for one birthday or something. Yeah. But okay. you said you had an underwater one. Was it like a propeller? So like it was you... like there was a th the theme was underwater. I think there okay. was like an ocean okay. wave or something or like a starfish on it. They were a few different <laughs> kinds. And like, you know, you're told to collect them all. And so, you know, who am I to <laughs> refuse? <laughs> well, the, the sky uh, is the water of the ocean's planet. Right. Yeah. 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 Earth's tears. The Yes. Earth's tears. There you go. Um, all right. Let's get into this uh, this cartoon. This thing is a doozy. This is a real doozy of a cartoon. Uh, you got this uh, a tip from Joby. See, I was originally going to watch Bigfoot, the, the animated series, and then Joby emailed and he said, hey, have you seen Sky Dancers? And I watched a little bit. I was like, oh, we're watching Sky Dancers for sure. Bigfoot can wait until next season. <laughs> um, so this is what Joby said. He said, I found it here. Hold on. Let me let me bring it up here. So you can see what uh, that's. We don't have this in our collection. This is uh, Joby found this at a thrift store. Uh, and he said, uh, just some of his thoughts. He said, the main villain feels uh, like he's in the wrong cartoon. The star dancers from the Academy perform the absolute worst dance routine of uh, ever drawn. He's like, you're going to have a lot to work with here. So here's what it, it turns out. There's uh, one season, 26 episodes. It, um, Started off as the toy, and then they got the animated series, and it was released first in France, and I think it was only released on DVD in the U.S. I don't think it ever saw uh, uh, television ah, in the okay. U.S. Um, I watched, I mean, I've read through all the synopses of all the episodes, and there are a million characters in this. It's basically like the Game of Thrones of Shattered and Morning car <laughs> cartoons. It's super ambitious. I'll give them that. They... They didn't phone this one in at all, um, like 98% of the cartoons that we watch on the show. Here, here's, just, here's the story behind this, I'm, and I'll read this quickly, but try to keep up. The five characters here were students at the High Hope Dance Academy under the widowed Queen Skyla. She's widowed. Aww. Queen Skyla and her students defended her kingdom from Skyla's jealous brother-in-law, Sky Clone who sought revenge from his brother Skylar, which is Skyla's <laughs> husband, for being selected as king over him. Sky Clone had successfully killed Skylar, but was unable <laughs> to gain control of the Sky Swirl Stone that gave the Sky Dancers their powers. That's so why it's important it. to have a will. I'm lost. right. <laughs> yes, that is the lesson at the uh, end. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's that old yarn. Um, so here's the thing. I, I cut out. A, it's a 22 minute cartoon. I cut out a significant ch chunk of it. <laughs> I wanted to focus on the origin stories of uh, the Sky Dancers 
and uh, I want to focus more on the dancing part because that's the best part. <laughs> um, I recommend watching the entire episode, though. Uh, it's all on it, the, the full versions are all on YouTube. They're easy to find. Um, one more fun fact, uh, and we've already talked about this, but uh, Galoob recalled nine million of these sky dancer toys not mine <laughs> they didn't get you they're, they're still looking for one of them that never... <laughs> hey, Glenn, do you still have them i would i wonder if they're at my parents house in the attic or something oh, you gotta probably find not them. i'm you, sure they're long gone to a thrift can you store see if but... are they worth anything if a toy gets recalled does that make oh, them I'm worth sure. more oh 100%. you know there's people that collect that stuff yeah but they're um, like lawn darts right yeah exactly look george can you look it up can you see uh, what, what they're going for? Yes. Um, it caused 150 <laughs> injuries, including eye injuries, scratched corneas, temporary <laughs> blindness, broken teeth. That's like the wow. Oh broken teeth, a concussion, a broken rib, and a face a facial laceration requiring stitches. I feel so, like two of those are on uh, operator error. How do you get a concussion from that? thing like they're probably don't. running to catch it and then they right yeah conk See, their head I, I together wonder about, or something yeah because i had t i have two younger two younger brothers and we would always you know we'd take toys and we'd played with them completely wrong with like fireworks and stuff i bet if we had sky dancers we would have been shooting them at each other <laughs> You know, like we would have been shooting them up the air. We'd be shooting them at each other's faces. So <laughs> I, be I bet some of it is from that. So, mm -hmm. so there's, um, all right. there are some on eBay, but very few. Yeah. Which makes me wonder. Uh, I remember I have I have a recalled um, Batman toy um, where uh, if you it, it like it, I, I think a kid lost a, a spleen or something when you um, it, it shot a dart that um, it should oh, never got past the yeah it was it was yeah a pe the penguin um, his uh, umbrella shot a, this like long plastic dart. Um, That's pretty sweet. Yeah, so I have one in a closet somewhere, but I don't think you're technically allowed to sell it. So on oh, eBay, really? there's there's oh, there's yeah. so few of these that are. I think I saw actually one operational one on there, and there's usually like, I don't know, you can get 700 different um, inhumanoids on there. So they're, I'm guessing they have some sort of rule about it. Or well, there's I, like I, a, I, a black market for sky dancers. You know? Yeah, we just have to tap into you have, it. You have to go on the dark web, right? Yeah. <laughs> go on the dark web to get your sky dancers. <laughs> um, all right, here's part one. This is about seven minutes long, and then we'll um, George has some commercials cooking, and uh, let's get this party started. Sky dancers. I can dance. I can fly. Sky dancers. I can reach to the sky. Sky dancers. Gen Pile Brothers. If I really try, I can fly. Since it's 1996. Great wardrobe so far in every right. Oh, yeah. If it is to be, oh, the colors are really good. Though. It's up to me. I can soar. Felt I'm a little Captain Planet. I can do. Wait, say again? Felt a little Captain Planet. Right. It yeah. does. Them it does have that. Yeah. But together. this isn't like by a major studio. It was. I thought maybe it was by. by by Deke or one of those, you know, but it's not. It's like by, I think it's a French company that made this. So. Yeah, looks slick. Yeah, that font really. Yeah. There's a lot of sky puns. So. <laughs> Everybody's name has sky in it. You see, these Gentile brothers are all over this. Yeah. Trip. Yeah. Abrams and Gentile. Yeah, and it uh, yeah, it took four people to write this episode too. Oh, I'm glad you paused right there. The perspective on this hair is insane. This hairdo is amazing. I feel like you need you could rock this completely, Laura. I need that much hair. I need that much. I need four bottles of hairspray and some extensions. Look at that. You're right. That is like a third of the screen, right there. Right. It's incredible. It's a full house out there. Standing room only. Everyone ready? Are you kidding? I was born ready. <laughs> I don't get the joke. 
four writers and they couldn't land that joke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to High Hope Dance Academy. I love that. I love extras and cartoons. Today, five of our most gifted students will perform original dance pieces they've personally choreographed. I think that's our cue, guys. I keep trying to land on that guy with the uh, George Washington hair, <laughs> with the Benjamin Franklin. Ben Franklin? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they show him so often, I thought he was going to be a character, but he's not. He's just an extra. He's a cartoon extra. <laughs> yeah. I think that's our cue, guys. We begin with our prima ballerina, Jade. goes right into an audience member's eye. <laughs> Please like welcome boy. our <laughs> modern dance aficionado, Camille. I love the music, too. Showing pride in his Native American heritage, Breeze brings a unique energy to High Hope Dance Academy. Angelica, our queen of country rock. Representation matters. Uh huh. I think that's a good May I present Slam, our hero of hip hop? <laughs> He's the hero of hip hop. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, a... that's Slam, my man. He can appropriate any culture he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Oh, no, he just landed on Breeze. They love now, me. He's, <laughs> now he's Native American. <laughs> hey, what? I mean, uh, Kayla, did you say you had seen the cartoon or you hadn't seen it? Never, cartoon? no. Okay. No, this is now, all new to me. Yeah. When you owned the toys and you watch this cartoon, would you have liked this cartoon back then? Like, what no. You so far? I think I would be disappointed. I mean, we haven't seen them fly yet, except for in the intro, but I, I'm already disappointed that their entire torsos aren't spinning separately from the rest of their body when they fly, just like the toy. <laughs> so I feel like it's like, yeah, it's not not doing it for me quite yet. Okay. Good animation, though. I will say it's good animation. You know, they didn't like, you weren't, they weren't lazy about it. You know, usually no. in cartooning, the idea with like a crowd scene is like, don't draw every character. Just give no, them the illusion of it. No, they silhouettes of audiences. Right. They actually like, yeah. gave that guy Benjamin Franklin hair. Yeah. Sure. And they gave yeah. them all backstories too. You right. can, in the DVD extras, you can find out about his relationship with and how he, sky dancers. how the Ben Franklin character is like stalking one of the sky dancers yeah. and shows oh, up to I all of her performances <laughs> and stuff. Maybe, like that's what I'm picturing. Maybe they recalled the parts of the cartoon where they fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I, yeah. I do think that we have found uh, if we go on tour again, our opening uh, chore choreography. Yeah, Chore yeah. choreography. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm so tired. We're, <laughs> we're like the, the three of us come out and we do that. Uh, we do this right here. Here's yeah. Joe. Yeah. And and George and Caitlin will have to be there. We'll do yeah. somersaults and stuff. Yeah. 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 This, is, this is the dance I'll, number. The king of I'll filth, call. Joe. <laughs> no, no, I want to call myself the master of hip hop. Is what I want to call. It. That's what I want to call myself. The hero I'm of hip hop. <laughs> yes, the hero of hip hop. Oh, oh, I blew it. Forget it. Keep in step. They love it. Benjamin Franklin is very pleased. Bummer. And the 45 we were good, weren't we? You were hot done. out there, Camille. We all were. I bet we blew Dame Skyla away. Yeah, we blew her right out of her seat. Dame Skyla's gone. Huh? Girl, she can't huh? be. But she was... Huh? It's my what? fault. I missed my move. I'm sure she didn't leave just because you messed up, Slam. She must have had another reason. Rub it in, why don't you? Why would she leave then? Something must have happened. Something's wrong. I know it. I mean, this is at about a Saved by the Bell level, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not any worse. It's not any better. It's probably right at a Saved by the Bell level. Also, those like the, those cheekbone lines on the boy, the the white boy who does hip hop, are were a huge cartooning fail. Like they just make him okay. look emaciated or something. I got. I got. Well, that's a wait. that's a B plot. Is his. Uh... <laughs> His eating issues. Right, yeah, <laughs> that's true. 
We gotta look for her. Yeah, we come on, let's go. Her. Dame Skyla. Yo. She's got to be around here somewhere. Speaking of here, where are we? Oh, is that what you're talking about? Right. The, uh, yeah. This. Yeah. 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 Almost looks kind of sickly. Right. It's tired. Yeah. I've never yeah. been to this part of the school before. Huh? huh? What's with that music? It's coming from up there. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> that should be on a bingo card. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. That should be on the Saturday morning cartoon bingo card. Hi, Whirl. Twirl, what are you guys doing here? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, okay. The doors are obviously activated by hidden motion sensors. Huh? I think I just got a high fry. Wow. There must be a... I don't mind the dogs. I don't mind the dogs. What is a high are. fry? Oh, like high five. I got it now. Okay. Oh, a high fry. Okay, I didn't get, get that. It. Yeah. Right. All right. Four writers again. Four writers. <laughs> they oh. keep switching off words. It's... <laughs> thousand music boxes here. All playing the same tune. Huh? Did they have dogs uh, in the toy line? I, not that I recall, but maybe. I feel like you would have got that. Right, they probably. Yeah. yeah. Flying dogs. Team yeah. <laughs> Skyla, you're all right. No, Camille, I am not all right, and neither am I, Dame Skyla. I am Queen Skyla. The music box is warning you that Sky Clone, the Sky Realm's deadliest foe, has returned and is getting ready to attack the Wingdom. The Wingdom? The Sky City where I rule. I don't mean to be disrespectful, Dame Skyla, but this is pretty What the tough fuck to are you talking about? <laughs> we just finished our little dance concert thing 30 seconds ago. You're throwing all this at us? Okay. Yeah. Your minds, your hearts, and know what I'm Is that I'm what your saying. colonoscopy looked like? <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at the exact same thing. footage. <laughs> yep. There, that is. Zero B-roll footage. <laughs> yep. The whole thing takes place in a giant <laughs> colon. Colon dancer. And <laughs> know what I say is true. It's Skyclone's Hurricanes! Run! <laughs> because I didn't... When we go out for wings sometimes, I want you to yell that at the end of the evening. It's a great name for a for wing wings. place. Yeah. 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 We're, we're always going out for wings, too. Um, <laughs> just so you did, I, I, I didn't follow this the first time, so I'm just going to alert you. And maybe you already know this, but like this is like a backstory about why she came to be. Uh, yeah, we went through the time uh, colon we, to yeah, figure out. The right. Time yeah. colon. right, exactly. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I didn't pick that up. Sky, oh my king. He oh, looks pretty cool. I, like, I think they both look pretty cool. Like. Oh, oh, oh. I like that guy. Yeah. The Sky Swirl Stone. It's our only hope. Work your power, Sky Swirl Stone. Send the hurricanes back to Sky Clone. Be gone. You've done it, Your Majesty. We've won. Stands fast, everyone! Like the green hair and the green beard. Go on, I say! You've done it, Skylar. You've destroyed the hurricanes! I can't hold Skylar. them off much longer, Skylar. We have no choice. I will meet with Skyclone. But if you agree to his demands and give him the sky. Like, look at that. That's that's pretty, isn't it? I like the I like the hair. Yeah. I like everything. Everyone's hot in this cartoon. They Sorry, really are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look great. Oh. This is this is maybe our best looking cartoon that we've ever shown on the show. <laughs> it is. I, I also really like the off. pink eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As Rose Stone, we will be powerless against him. My brother will never have the stone. Promise me, Skylar. Promise me with all your love. I feel like everybody's name is Skylar. Is everybody's name Skylar? <laughs> I thought his name was Skylar. Skyla, Skylar, Skylight. Skylar. Yeah. Skylar. Yeah. I have a plan to oh, stop yeah. Skyclone forever. Well, I fear he? I know your plan. Really rubbing that knob. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you 
do that again? All right. <laughs> you show okay, You want to see that again? Yeah. <laughs> do I ever? Can you just <laughs> lose it for a bit? I'll be right back. Yeah, Absolutely. I think we need right. to. Let's see. He goes, and he also says, I have a plan. To stop Sky Clone. <laughs> I fear I know your plan. <laughs> I fear I know your plan. Wow. There's our GIF. There's the GIF right there. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. What do you think so Sky far? Shaft. Uh, <laughs> Sky Shaft. Let me call upon my Sky Shaft. <laughs> uh, thoughts so far? Uh, Erotically. Uh, yeah. Satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I think I said that about Rubik the Amazing Cube too. Oh yeah, um. okay. you have it, it. It's doing it. It's working for you. Mm. I f I okay. feel like the animation is great. I'm really intrigued by the storyline so far, and I also want us to all have like sky related names by the end of this. Oh yeah, and I'm yeah, calling yeah. Skybert right now. Sky oh. <laughs> um. Okay. I got. I got to think about it. Sky uh, and Lois. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Um, all right, George, do you have uh, some commercials for us? Uh, I sure do. Uh, they're not sky related. This is, <laughs> I believe, this cartoon and these toys were marketed toward, uh, I believe, girls mostly, despite the presence of Breeze um, and others. Uh, and, and you'd think boys would want something that would shoot at each other, but the commercials are clearly aimed toward girls. And I found. Uh, 20 minutes of commercials that were geared toward girls from the 80s and 90s. And I found the two and a half, uh, I guess, most disturbing of them that show how women are being acculturated, young women are being acculturated in a alarming way. All right. Can't wait. Awesome. <laughs> Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. Growing up, Skipper, she's two dolls in one. Because when you turn her arm, you can make her change instantly from a little girl to a tall, slender teenage doll, which is something you can't do. You can have fun with Skipper when she's little, then suddenly you can make her grow up enough to wear her glamorous teenage skirt. New Growing Up Skipper is two dolls in one for two kinds of fun. Growing Up Skipper gets taller when you turn her arm and comes with these fashion accessories. So, so it makes her secondary sex characteristics appear wow when you pull the arm i mean you you saw that right that, that i can have fun with i missed it i guess i couldn't tell what was happening yeah so or if it was just like stretching her body out or no. something well it's doing that but look at watch, watch the chestal region <gasps> that goes oh you're right yeah whoa so this was, oh my god so that's this, insane it yeah. sure is huh. um but uh I, you know, it happened to me in junior high too. So I, uh, what, what, you turned your arm and yeah, yeah. Would would uh, like a, a prepubescent girl like that? Like, would they be like, oh, that's cool. That's like what I'm going through. Would that? Would, Sadly, that probably. Yeah. Or yeah. I, yeah, I would think so. I mean, I at, a certain, at a certain time, certainly not now. But yeah. when is this from? This looks that really one's old. for her. I think the mid '70s, but yeah. the rest of these are later. Accessories new from Mattel. Perfect prom maxi sold separately with a scented necklace. Is she related to Barbie? I don't. I don't think. I so. I think she's a Barbie knockoff. You know, no. like, so like, the, yeah. Not trying in the a, same. Okay. No, not not the, not same, the same company. I don't think, but still trying to like, you know, get in on the Barbie hype. Do you think that there was a maxi pad tie-in? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> if not, they missed opportunity. Missed, they missed opportunity. Reboot. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Bring it back. Kelly's not goofy like other girls. I play to win. They're playing girl talk. Truth is more sophisticated. What kind of girl talk girl are you? The game of truth or dare. You can call a guy and tell him something gross. <laughs> never. I'll take a zit sticker. What kind of girl talk girl are you? Kelly would never kiss and tell. My first kiss? Sure, I'll talk about it. What I was at the movies. What kind of girl talk girl are you? I, a winner. And a flirt. I gossip. And a boy <laughs> crazy. Can we talk about this? I had that. <laughs> so, 
I I did not own it, but my but my childhood best friend did, and I feel like the board she had was different than that. Hmm. Did, can anyone know. confirm or Caitlin? I, I, think the, the, <laughs> I, I didn't pay close enough attention to the board. I just I know that I had totally different girl talk. I think. Yeah, it, lo it looks like the one that I had, and uh, we played it all the time. I loved that game. I mean, it the Zit Stickers is insane. That's yes. such a ridiculous premise. But I also remember the ones with the phone calls. Like, we didn't have any boys' numbers, so we would just call each other's like <laughs> brothers. Like, you know, <laughs> but me and my me and my friend, my neighbor girlfriends would hang out and call. Yeah, it was the only boys that we knew how to get in touch with. And I think we should play this on yes. the show. <gasps> Live. Uh, is it fun? Dream well, show. It is zit fun. seekers, did you say? So, zit, zit so if you like lose a point, you there are these stickers that look like zits and you have to put it on your face if you That's fun. It's pretty oh, fun. I would play yeah. this. Was that that's it. fun with a question mark or right. that's fun. <laughs> I think we we don't know. Um all right. Talk, 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 talk. Girl talk talking about Dateline. The game of girl talk talk. Dateline. Oh, okay. It's a new game. What's she gonna say? It's a game of... What's he gonna do? It's a game of... Tell me, can you go? Yes or no? Yes or no? Girl Talk Dateline. The game about the two things girls like best. Talking on the phone and... I'd love to go. Boys! New Dateline from the makers of Girl Talk. That was the one my friend had. That was... I'm glad you... Pre read my mind, George. That yes. was that was what okay. I was not the previous one, but that was the one that. Okay. Yes, that's the one I played the most of. Got and this it. isn't this isn't a toy. This is just uh, teenage romantic insanity. <laughs> Hi, John. It's Heather. Hey. So I'm here with Alyssa. Cool. Brendan's on the base handset. So you know, Alyssa really likes Brendan. Oh, he likes her too. He thinks she's really cute. And she thinks he's really funny in math. We have a lot in common. They should go out, don't you think? Mm-hmm. So what are we going to do about it? Uh, uh, Alyssa? Hi, it's Brendan. Hi. Swatch gives you more than the time of day. Now back to Saturday morning cartoons. Brendan's hair. Oh my god, I loved yeah. it. <laughs> I felt like everybody was like 38 years old in that too. <laughs> <laughs> they were supposed to be like teens, wasn't it? But that, that's like 80s ages, you know? Like everybody who was like... 18 looked like they were 43 yeah back then so those swatch phones were so cool i wanted one and the clear phones do you remember the clear oh yeah, yeah those yeah, were yeah. so bad i did too i, I had the it. swatch watch i had the clear swatch watch so oh, nice that was, a, that, was a, that was a big christmas present yeah um all right you ready for part two of this yes you yeah. stoked the all sky's right, the go. limit Mm. The sky's mm -hmm. the limit. I think that's what this episode's called. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not clever. <laughs> I'll see myself out. See you later, guys. It's your time, everybody. No, no, no. Good night. No, no, no. Stay, stay, stay. You're doing great. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Call off your hurricane, Skyclone. With pleasure, dear brother. As soon as you give me the Sky Swirl Stone, <laughs> take it then. It's yours. At last! The stone shall be mine! With it, I shall rule the Sky Realm. Not so fast, huh? brother. A trick? Where is the stone? So did you see what his plan was? It was like he was gonna... He took off the stone, and he was gonna give it to him, but then instead of giving it to him, he didn't give it to him. Right. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> All four writers toiled over that. They were up until like four o'clock in the morning, smoking cigarettes, throwing rough drafts into the garbage. For that. <laughs> I also Ordering love Chinese food. We, we yeah. continue to have like a very phallic uh, uh, theme running throughout the backgrounds and the castle and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't think that's a mistake. That can't be a mistake. It happens way too often. Right. It's like it's when you're in <laughs> Yeah. Uh. You will never get your hands on it. I will do as you wish, my love. I will guard the stone with my life. Oh, let me go. Never. Are you mad? A death spin will mean destruction oh. for both of us. Better that than the destruction of the way. You just work spins and go to fight. Oh. Isn't, isn't Sky 
Skyler the name of um, Breaking Bad, uh, Brian Cranston's wife on Breaking Bad? Is yeah, that Skyler. Skyler. Okay. Skyler. Skyler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I hear them say Skyler, I think of <laughs> Breaking Bad Skyler. Oh. <laughs> forgotten it's not I, bad. i'm so sorry about king skyler it was a long time ago but now sky clone has returned he's back yes breeze the peaceful <laughs> inhabitants of my world stand no chance yes, against breeze. him and i alone can... save your questions for the end breeze <laughs> <laughs> cannot save them i need defenders who will fly by my side you are the finest dancers I have ever had the honor of teaching. But Very now serious. I must ask even more of you. Will you become my sky dancers and defend the sky realm? We're all with you. I'm in. Very well. This is part of the sky dance industrial complex. These right of flight <laughs> feathers, King Skyler entrusted to me, I now entrust These feathers to later got recalled. with them. <laughs> the power to achieve what no other mortal can is the power slice the eye of our enemy. Now repeat after me. If it is to we'll be, have so many scratched it's corneas. Up to me. <laughs> it is to me, it's up to me. Yeah. We're flying! It's not possible! That's how your sky dancer came to be sky dancers. Right? Yep. It's kinda of fun to learn the backstory now. Colon. <laughs> the colon of time. Oh! Nothing I ever studied prepared me for having wings. Oh, I love them. Yeah! Having wings is just so cool. Come on, guys, let's wing it to the window. <laughs> Here in the window, the sky. The wingdom. The oh wing my God! Let's wing it to the wingdom is what the commercial for our wing place. <laughs> yep. Yep. Vegan wings. There's the limit to the skills you each possess. And as sky dancers, each of you has a special power. Find your power. Make it real. Whoa. Whoa. Reach inside yourself. I do feel it. I feel stronger. Like I can move mountains. Like I can appropriate any culture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bird. check this out! Uh, Why is he shooting it's a dog? out of control! Oh. Easy, girl. Be calm, girl. Slam has merely found his special power. Whoa, down, boys. Yeah. And I do mean down. What? Who's talking? I'm gonna like animal special abuse. special power. I know. Talk about interpretive dance. I can create whatever I want out of clouds. Looks <laughs> like interpretive Her dance. Her hand farted. <laughs> That's her special power. <laughs> yeah, looks... I mean, it kind of seems like a, a bullshit, like, Superpower. You get to like sculpt no clouds into like a shitty cat. I can like a whatever cat. I want out of clouds. Sky gas. It's like a shitty cat. Like that cat picks you even... and everyone you love. <laughs> the other guy gets to like lift things and like shoot things around. She makes a shitty cat out of clouds. Whatever my power is, I know it must come from ballet. <laughs> Magic only works if you believe in it, Jade. It's not easy to believe in magic when your father's a scientist, but I'll try. <laughs> all I ask of all of you is that you try. But you must try hard if you want to master your new powers. Slam, your power to defy gravity should allow you to lift much more than just whirl and twirl. Your powers will allow you to create and empower your creation with a life of its own. Yeah. But how do we master our powers? Dance. Her, her power is spewing ex exposition. Like, that's what she, her <laughs> superpower is. Like, she can just spew <laughs> exposition of everywhere exposition. she goes. Yep. Yeah. Powers come alive. The better you dance, the stronger your powers will be. Bravo. So, I cut out this part. It, they went off and then they, like, fought some bad guys. It was kind of the typical, like, boing, you know, like, you, 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 and then they won at the <laughs> end. Typical boing. Uh, <laughs> typical boing. <laughs> so I skipped over that part, but it is worth watching. If you if you want to jump onto YouTube and and, uh, and watch it, it's worth watching. But now yeah. we're just going to go straight to the ending here. Bravo! A command performance. Well done. Well done indeed, my sky dancers. 
Thanks, Queen Skyla. I couldn't have done it without them. Hey! <laughs> you may have earned your wings as sky dancers, but you still have many more steps to learn. Wait, so, but the green bearded, the green hair, green bearded guy, he must be dead, right? He's dead. Yeah, that's why she's a widower. A widower. Did we she's see a widow. Yeah. yeah, he got like sucked into the tornado colon thing. <laughs> right? Oh, that's right. Okay. So we sky didn't actually see him, him yeah. die. <laughs> sky butt. Sky butt. Sky butt. Wow. I can dance, the Gentile I Brothers can fly, did it again. Sky dancers, I can reach to the sky. Sky dancers. Oh, there was a it's Jenny weird, Gentile it? at the. I don't know if you saw. There was a oh, another was Gentile that was in the credits. I, their There's long suffering Gentile? sister. Yeah. Family yeah. affair. Oh, boy, oh boy. All right. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you guys think? You you into it? You want to? Would you watch more? I did. Or, I didn't did you hate give it. Enough? Yeah. I, I I liked laughing at it. That that might sound cruel, but that's what we're here to no, do, right? That's okay. what we do. That's the whole conceit yeah. of the entire show. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, no, I, I would watch thinking. more. Yeah. yeah. Especially if they ever explain why the dog's tails turn into corkscrews, because that part I didn't really get. That <laughs> it's part. like the sure, like, like the tail sure rotor. One of the yeah, <laughs> one of the twenty six episodes probably dives into that. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, George, and you, uh, what you, do you like it? Are you a fan? Are I did you, not uh, care for, for it. I, no? I, you know, it might have been the part that was cut out. All the uh, the boing, what was it? The, the, uh, <laughs> the boing, boing battle. Boings, uh, you yeah. know, it's just like when the sound effects come in. All the boing, boing, boing. Your typical boing. boing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They boing it up. Yeah. Um, I wanted more injury to children, I guess. That's what that's the promise of the sky. Oh, well, you dudes. came to the right place because now oh. it's time to play the game show that's sweeping the nation. It's called Totally Fall. <laughs> all right. So this is a, a game about all recalled toys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, show you a recalled toy like this. And then uh, you have to, uh, well, just this will be the, you guys remember lawn charts. Somebody brought up lawn charts before. You all remember. Caitlin, you'd be the first contestant here. We're, we're going to do six rounds. Everybody gets to do two each. Caitlin, you'll okay. be first. Cool. And you have, to, you have to say whether the victims were maimed burned <laughs> or or worse or worse okay? yeah okay mm -hmm. maimed burned or worse uh jarts were the victims of this recall maimed burned or worse you know maimed is such a broad term but so i'm gonna i'm gonna go with worse i mean they were impaled yeah okay yep you're right it was <laughs> worse um uh three people died because of them Holy 6 thousand people went to the hospital because of it again same i mean hospital. i don't know huh the same hospital <laughs> the same it was hospital. for jarts <laughs> jarts special right right um yeah so I, again i don't know the story behind the three people who the poor people who died but i have a feeling they're probably like me and my brothers who we probably would have been throwing them at each other i don't yeah. know whatever but they, they do seem like a dangerous toy i've seen them before um, all right, next up, uh, Laura, you go next. Maimed, burned, or worse? Burned. Uh, aqua dots. Are you familiar with aqua dots? Yes, I, I remember it's... those. Do you really? Yeah, no, I don't know <laughs> this. I think it was like, I think it's late 90s or so. I, I um, totally remember these. What are you saying? Maimed, burned, or worse? I, I, I'm going with burned because you have to, I think if I were, if I remember you have to, the pen heats up the plastic and then it do, 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 like, that's how you make the, the dots. So definitely, yeah. I bet that tip burned the shit out of a lot of kids. All right. Well, it turns out it's worse. Uh, what? Three kids, <laughs> yes. Three kids went into a coma after swallowing the toxic pieces. <laughs> oh my God. And, that's not funny, well, but wow. No, it's not. Yeah. See, here's the thing. I When I came up with this idea for this game, I called up George this afternoon. I was like, is this a bad idea for a game? Like, are we laughing at people who got unfairly injured by corporate greed? Uh, I mean, as long as there's like an in memoriam at the end of this episode. I think uh, you're good. Yeah, we need a Sarah yeah, McLachlan song playing us out. Yeah, I guess I'll have to add that. To the, okay, yeah, no, I can edit that together. And none of us um, have kids, so it's fine. Right? Exactly. So, so, but George signed off on it. So, like, I'm blaming George. 
Holy uh, yeah. wow. So three yeah, three kids went into a coma. I don't think they died though. I think that they well, I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. I'm not gonna say anything. Well the, one uh, was right. killed by a jart, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Next Not blame the kid at some point. This is called a Wego <laughs> a Wego kite tube. So you'd like what? You'd, you'd drag these behind a boat and then you could lift it up and you would start flying behind the boat. And again, oh, me and my brothers, if we had seen this in Target, we would have bought this immediately. immediately. This is insane. I want this, this is now. Insane. Uh George, this one's yours. Maimed, burned, see, see, or worse. This is an instance where if this thing was out of control, you could use a jart to get it back to the earth. <laughs> Um, but um, I'm going to go. You kept the chart in, on your person. Yeah. If the last two weren't worse, because this strikes me as like, of course the person was killed. That thing headed down to the <laughs> earth. Like, well, that's a that's a spine cracker right there. Yeah, but I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say maimed. Maimed? Okay. Unless it landed in the fire. Nope, or something. it's worse. Yeah. It's worse. Yeah. <laughs> Picking up on a trend. <laughs> yeah, Joe's game, Three everyone deaths. dies. <laughs> Three deaths. Oh my God. Yep. Uh okay. All right. Let's uh let's let's slow things down a little bit here. Uh Caitlin, you're back up. Maimed, burned, or worse for the uh uh what is it? Easy bake oven. Yes, of course, burned for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you have one of these at all? Did you? I did not, but a kid I babysat for had one. And um, yeah, they got, they heated up quite a bit. Yeah. And it had like a, a hundred watt uh, incandescent bulb in there. It was just like something, you know, like a, a house light that you yeah. would put in there. I guess that would like warm up the brownies or something. Is I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Um, the answer is mostly burned. One got me. <laughs> <laughs> What uh like most of the brownies I make, am I right? <laughs> uh let's see. Several children got their hands stuck in it and I... burned their fingers, and one girl had part of her finger amputated. So that was the one maim in there. I know. Yeah. George, this is all your fault. I said, should I do this? It, I, I mean, didn't. I really was not. We're expecting talking about that. children that are getting maimed. And <laughs> I thought one person was going to die in the extent in, in in the entirety of this. We're we're already we have a pile of corpses. There's <laughs> a body count as here. high yeah. as the sky so, down there. Baker's <laughs> Baker's dozen. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, all right. One next up. Maimed. Who's up next? Uh, Laura, you're up next. I all think right. so. Um, all right. Maimed, burned, or worse. This is the snack time cabbage patch doll. Okay, at first I this? thought it was the uh, rave time party Molly doll um, <laughs> because those look like glow sticks <laughs> down yeah. there. And um, so, yeah. so what's the gist of it? You shove French fries in its mouth. So it would eat uh, plastic carrots and French fries, and it would like kind of like chomp them. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know. I did probably shit them out on the back somewhere. Like I don't know. It was probably like, yeah. Logic tells me that first, of course, a kid definitely stuck their fingers in its mouth and probably broke a finger or something. But I can see this going worse by a kid wanting to eat what the doll is eating and then choking on a plastic oh. thing. But your reaction okay. is now telling me maybe I'm wrong. So well, no, it's that, worse than no, that. No. <laughs> That's a fantastic guess. I, I specifically for this game, I did not take any choking because there's way too many chokings. There's a lot of choking. <laughs> there's very there. yeah. that you can't choke on. Right. I, there's so many recalled choking stuff. So I just kept. I was going to call it maimed, choked, or worse. <laughs> but then I was just like, win, loser, choke. Ninety-eight percent of the That's a fourth up choked. category. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, God damn it. Oh boy. Uh, all right. So uh, what are you going with, maimed, bird, or worse for a uh, snack time cabbage patch doll? I'm gonna go with maimed, but okay. understand that I, I there is a big part of me that's wanting to guess worse, but I'm, I'm gonna stick okay. with maimed. Maimed it is. Okay. That's correct. It it ate uh, French fries, carrots, and also the fingers and hair of children. So uh, <laughs> hair was a big one. I, I who was it? Were we talking about this on the show, or did was I having a conversation somewhere else? Somebody said that they had one of these dolls, and that in the back you'd see a lot of hair in it that had come from I the think previous. Nick owner. was talking about it that when he, you know, he collects everything, and it was something yeah. like people who sell these find in the back of them that there's just like spools of of, of children's hair, hair fingernails oh my God. And, uh, yeah. and yeah yep. it's a good way to amputate a finger that's been burned in an easy bake oven though 
<laughs> yep. I, I'm imagining some kids using it like a Roomba, though, to like clean up their room, just like turning it around and like sucking up <laughs> stuff on the floor. Yeah, no, I could. Yeah, that could work. Um, all right, last one, George. Oh. Uh, this is the um, named the bird, or worse, this is the Saturday morning cartoon cereal bowls that we used to have for sale on our website, but we had to take them down because what they got recalled? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I've been no, eating. It's... Put it down uh, right now, George. Maimed, burned, or worse for the Saturday morning cartoon bowls that we had on our website. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with worse. Okay. Here's the thing. Nothing bad would have happened if they just used their stupid brains. Whoever bought these things, <laughs> nothing bad would have happened. Um, they got recalled because they were made out of asbestos and they caused <laughs> severe lip rashes. Mm, but mm -hmm. we never said that they were meant to be used with the cereal right they're so we're still trying to appeal that and yeah. here's the thing use your brain next time you buy these bowls okay and Wait that's a how you Did play this really happen no. to you guys no, mm -hmm. no. oh, oh. <laughs> are you in another like litigation like <laughs> is there going to be like crunching the meal or something we have yeah <laughs> we have been sued before i guess i could see why you would think that yes uh but that's how you play the game of totally recall that was right. a good one I well like done. that. I think so. I don't know. I mean, are people going to be upset about us? Uh, I don't know. Uh, at George, are they going to be upset at George for? Uh... Yeah, it is my it is my fault that you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you signed off on it this afternoon. Not, here's uh, signing off. Here's what signing <clears throat> off means. Did you wait? Did you call? I was like half asleep. <laughs> you you sounded groggy actually. Uh, what? But, yeah. It was, yeah. But it was what? like five thirty. It was five thirty in the evening. Though. Like. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a, <laughs> again. It's your fault. This is all your fault. Um, a lot. Did you learn anything, George? I mean, holy from, from shit! This did I learned yeah? something. Okay. Yeah. What'd you learn? We often wonder: Are we human or are we sky dancer? The sky has fascinated humanity since we first observed birds soaring majestically through its unending emptiness. Being able to comprehend but not achieve this freedom. Our minds, our culture, and our technology became obsessed over achieving flight. But perhaps as we fantasized about sailing through the air, we lost sight of what keeps us grounded. For birds do not fly effortlessly. They are constantly exerting themselves to stay aloft. It is not freedom at all, but instead nonstop exhausting chaos. So rather than our envy, birds should have our pity as well as our admiration as we lazily lay on the ground watching them so whether you're a sky dancer or a pole dancer keep your head in the stars and your feet on the ground mm. and that's why i weekly say the more you battle is twice the knowing mm -hmm. all mm. right yeah kind of surprised you didn't work a colon in there but i i feel like you could <laughs> you could uh put together a book of your shatterday soliloquies and sell that Chat what are you for? Chat liloquies. It sells itself <laughs> right there. Yes. Wow. Musings um, of madman. <laughs> um, I am. I'm going to go with the name. I'm going to call myself Skylar Junior. That's going to be my sky name. I'm going to go with Skylar Junior. Yeah. There's Skylar. There's Skylar <laughs> Senior. There's Skylar the Third. I'm going to go with Skylar Junior. Uh, that's going to be my sky name. So, um. Hey, quick plugs. Uh, Laura, what does Lenora have coming up? We got, uh, yeah? Yes. What do we got? Uh, uh, first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to claim Skyphone. That's going to be my sky name. I want to nice. be Skyphone. Uh, oh, nice. But nice. new episode of Midnight Rental is out now. Yes. So. Finally. Is it Saturday. Finally. Exactly. But uh, yes. this has all to do. It's a big two-parter. So part one out now. It has Bobcat Goldthwait in it talking about one of my favorite episodes of Tales from the Crypt, and uh, check it out on the Found Footage Festival oh, so you, YouTube channel. Yeah, so you got Bobcat to, to come on the show, and you get to interview him and everything? Yes. Like, yeah, wow. it was a huge, long interview, and I um, could not have been more happy that he was so willing to let me pick his brain about that and shakes the clown and every other question i threw at him he was he's such a so cool nice dude. yeah <laughs> I, I and like so he's in the chop and steel documentary and we got to meet him at tribeca he came to the film festival and i didn't want to do this but i i had to i like i talked to him about like 
how impactful Zed from Police Academy was for me. <laughs> and I didn't want to be like that, but I had to tell him. I had to yeah. tell him. I was just like, I spent so much time watching you and laughing at you and like all your movies and everything. So I just had to be a nerd for a second. So, Aww. but he's such a he's such a cool dude, though, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's, he's he, willing. To, he's willing to put up with like me talking about Zed. For yeah, five he, yeah, he was great, and I I, I put in some funny uh, Bobcat old stand-up clips of his that I found that um, not too many people have seen. So definitely check out new episode of Midnight Rental. Very totally. tired and very proud of it. Totally. <laughs> Caitlin, what's going on at Billy Ireland these days? Yeah, I think I plugged uh, what we got last week, but we've got an exhibit of Raina Tegelmeyer's artwork up, which uh, runs through November. She's a young adult graphic novelist, super talented lady. And otherwise, you know, you can just come visit our galleries uh, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday throughout the summer. Didn't you say that uh, some Melinda's showed up at, a, at an event recently? Didn't you text me that some Melinda's showed oh, up? Oh, I ran into and, some uh, Melinda's at a at a bad movie night event here. Um, oh, over yeah? The weekend. Yeah, at Studio 35, which is our local beloved movie theater. Yeah. And, and you said something like, did you know about Melinda Wordle or something like that? <laughs> right. <tell> about- <laughs> I just learned about it, and I'm amazed by it. And apparently well, my last name was one of the answers, and I just, I mean, that's like a dream come true for me. I feel like I can just... Yeah, yeah, I could just be killed well, by a sky dancer right now and <laughs> die happy. <laughs> Perfect place to end it. Uh, nice work, everybody. Uh, we did it. Uh, Skylar Jr. signing off uh, into the sky uh, for all of us at Saturday Morning Cartoons. Happy, happy Saturday. Saturday. Saturday.